Hello everyone. Today I wanted to give an example of how I do flow testing for the Zenith carburetor jets. So you can see there's a good flow of water, right? And that's probably too much. It's probably going past the top and flowing over. So I want to slow it down until it's a small drip, right? So I just adjust this valve until the column of water is stable at 36 inches high. Make sense? Good. So once that's set, this valve turns my tester on and off, right? I put one of these small jets in the bottom of there and screwed it in, right? So that the fuel in the car is going to go this way. You want the water to flow the same direction that the fuel's flowing. So I had to screw this in over here. Then I put this on. and open my valve. Okay, before we do that, this is a beaker. Every line in here is five milliliters. And so the goal for this test, right, is um, a cap jet is supposed to flow between 150, 185 milliliters in one minute. That make sense? this cap jet. A main jet is supposed to flow 150 to 160 in one minute. The idle jet 44 to 48. The compensator jet is 138 to 142. And this is usually what size holes drilled. But what I found is sometimes you need a little bit smaller hole to actually get this flow. So I always fill my uh, I feel I solder these tips closed, right? And then I re drill them. But that's been soldered shut, and then I've re drilled that hole in there, and it's less than the diameter called out. I'll test the flow, and if I need to, I'll open it up. That makes sense? So, just I need to run a test just to fill this chamber. I'll just turn this on. Okay. I want to see how much this will fill in one minute. So now I'll turn on my stopwatch. Da da da. Here's my stopwatch. Right? I'm going to hit start and then. It's going to go 1,001, 2. I opened it right at the 2 second mark. And now we wait for 60 seconds, right? To see how much, how much water will flow through there in 60 seconds. So the, the little PVC rig I made is just to establish that one inch high column of water and keep it constant. And then when I'm taking the measurement, this will give me an even calibrated flow. Every jet will be tested with the same amount of pressure behind it. So here comes 55, six, seven, I want to stop at a minute and two seconds. One, two, boom. All right, so what did we get? 150 exactly. Can you see the water level? That is a cap jet, the one, the one that we just measured. It's supposed to be from 150 to 185. <clears throat>
So even though I drilled it at 30, 30 thousandths hole, it's still within tolerance. It's at the 150. So to me, that's a good one. I'd rather have them running a little bit leaner at the bottom end because these cars waste a lot of fuel. You'll get better fuel mileage if your jets are to the low side of the suggested flow. This is a main jet right here. It's going to be the main fuel jet for when the car is running fast, you know, high speed. So we just put the little gasket behind it and screw it in. Right? And you're just snug enough. So the fuel is going to go in this out the end when it's in the carburetor. Then we want to clear any air in this chamber. So I just let it run for a couple seconds and then stop it. So it's set for a test, <clears throat> and then all I'd have to do is hit start here, and when I turn the handle, notice the number, one, four, four, okay, at four, I opened it. So now I'm just going to let this run for one minute. When I'm doing this, I feel like a scientist in some kind of a laboratory. <laughs> You know, and I hope the neighbors don't watch or look in the window because they'll think that I'm I got a meth lab going over here. <laughs> okay, 40, 8, 9, 50 seconds. One, two. All right. So remember, I started at four seconds, so I'm just gonna let this go to one minute and four. One, two, three, four. Great. So what did we get? Each line is 5,000. So there's 50, 5, 60, 65. It's getting close to 70. Okay? If, if I wanted to check it a little better, I could put it in this beaker. And yeah, it's definitely right at 70. This has a little finer grade. Every line is two milliliters here. So our book, our table here for a main jet says we should be at 150. So this hole is way too small. That's one that I drilled and I have put in a small hole on purpose so I can open it. So I'm gonna make a note that I got 70 out of that jet, but I should open it a little bit more, try to get 150. That's how you do it.